guys. I hope you're doing well. Today we are in Proverbs chapter 25 in the message. So we're we're getting there. There's um, 31 chapters in Proverbs. So only six more to go. Let's start with prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you um, for your word. We thank you for the guidance and direction that it provides, Lord. I just pray that you would open our hearts and our minds to what your word has to say to us today. Pray all these things your name. Amen. Okay, scooch this down a little bit. The title is Further Wise Sayings of Solomon. And then the subtitle or smaller title under it is The Right Word at the Right Time. This is chapter 25. There are also these Proverbs of Solomon, collected by scribes of Hezekiah, king of Judah. God delights in concealing things. Scientists delight in discovering things. Like the horizon... of for like the horizons for breadth and the oceans for depth the understanding of good the understanding of a good leader is broad and deep Starting at verse 4, or continuing at verse 4. Remove impurities from the silver, and the silversmith can craft a fine chalice. Remove the wicked from the leadership, and authority will be credible and God-honoring. Don't work yourself into... the spotlight. Don't push your way into the place of prominence. It's better to be promoted in a place of honor than face humility by being demoted. So don't like push yourself, push yourself to be um, in a high place. Like don't don't put yourself there unless you're truly deserving of it. Unless somebody sits there and says, hey, you've worked hard, you get to move up. Um, it's not our place to sit there and say, I think I deserve this or that. Um, verse 8, don't jump to conclusions. There may be a perfectly good explanation for what you just saw. In the heat of an argument, don't betray confidence. Confidences. Word is sure to get around, and no one will trust you. The right word at the right time is like a custom-made piece of jewelry and a wise friend's timely reprimand is like a gold ring slipped on your finger. Reliable friends who do what they say are like cool drinks and sweltering heat. Refreshing. Like billowing clouds that bring on rain is is the person who talks big but never produces. Patient persistence pierces through indifference. 
Gentle speech breaks down rigid defenses. The next section is titled, A Person Without Self-Control. When you're given a box of candy, don't gulp it all down. Eat too much chocolate and you'll make yourself sick. And when you find a friend, don't out where you're welcome. Show up at all. Show up at all hours and he'll soon get fed up. Anyone who tells lies against the neighbors in court or on the street is a loose cannon. Trusting a double crosser when you're in trouble is like biting down on an on an abscessed tooth. It hurts. It's just not a good idea. Singing light songs to the heavy hearted is like pouring salt in their wounds. A lot of times if somebody's hurting or going through something difficult, um, they just want quiet. They just you know, want somebody to sit with them. They don't want to be sung to or talked to or whatever. They just want quiet. If you see your enemy hungry, go buy him lunch. If you, if he's thirsty, bring him a drink. Your generosity will surpass will surprise him with goodness and God will look after you. A north wind brings stormy weather and a gossipy tongue stormy looks. Verse 24, better to live alone in a tumbled down shack than share a mansion with a nagging spouse. Like a cool drink of water when you're worn out and weary is a letter from a long lost friend. A good person who gives in to a bad person is a muddied spring, a polluted well. It's not smart to stuff yourself with sweets, nor is glory piled on glory good for you. A person without self-control is like a house with its doors and windows knocked out. Meaning there's nothing to stop anything from coming in or going out. There's not that protective barrier. We're supposed to watch what we're putting into our bodies, watch what's coming out. God has made us in his image and it's very very easy myself included to just say what's on your mind or um, do something really quickly and not think about what you're doing you know not thinking about is that harmful is it good is it bad um, it's very easy to just get caught up in the moment and just end up doing things that we shouldn't. And so it's, it's good to 
to stop and think. And that's essentially what Proverbs is saying. You know, Solomon had been around for a very long time. He had been given all this wisdom. And he's saying, let's make sure that young people and even old, old people aren't going about life making decisions that have all these consequences that they might not even have thought about before. So, it's good to stop and think before you do. That is Proverbs chapter 25. We'll see you next time. Bye. God bless.